me vlogging in the car again but I already did my workout today was hamstrings and glutes and we crushed it duh um did some grocery shopping with my mom at sprouts which I can show you some of the things I got there later during this prep I really like to make sure that my recovery is on point so I try to go to this place called sun care they're on fit mix it's technically a tanning salon but they have red light therapy there and they have this thing called a hydration station which is pretty much like a sauna pod. I try to do that a couple times a week and I notice that my recovery on my whoop is always like in the high 80s or 90s when I do this stuff consistently either if it's just me just doing 15 minutes of red light therapy or me just doing the 30 minutes in the sauna pod or a combination of both recovery is always through the roof and recovery is something that my coach has stressed that I do and I prioritize which makes total sense because we don't need no stress in our lives when we're already kind of stressing out our body by reducing macros dieting is stressful we all know this so on my way there now and I'll show you what it looks like Do you ever like leave somewhere like that and your eyes are like dry or like barely open and you feel like so tired and like calm that you're like I don't even want to get in my car and drive so you just sit there in your car in the parking lot chilling for a second and then finally like wake up and muster up the energy to drive. The next day. Hello, good morning. It is Saturday and as you saw, that is always my check-in day. So we did my check-in photos and submitted those through the Pro Physique app to my coach Rachel. We made breakfast, which is my new obsession. It's a blueberry bagel toasted with peanut butter and like 104 grams of egg whites cooked with cinnamon. And it is literally chef's kiss i'm obsessed with it so now we are on our way to the gym and it's an upper body day again so it's back and shoulders 
So let's get this lift. Does anyone else do that? I don't think I don't think that's a thing anymore. Hello y'all, just got done with my workout and let's see. Oh, you probably can't see that, it's blurry and I can't turn my wrist anymore. Hour, 45 minutes to do my back workout, shoulder workout, but I also did 15 minutes of incline, incline walking before I started my workout. I also did like a little bit of stretching to open up my chest and shoulders and my back. Um, and then I finished with 30 minutes on the Stairmaster as you saw. So now it's time to go home and make meal number two. Hello. Say hello. Hi. Hello. It's me and Mama Yingers checking back <laughs> in. Obviously we showered and changed and we're looking a lot better from the gym. We are going to Humble Fest. What is it? Humble's Birthday, Birthday Bash. Bash. It's a coffee place here. <laughs> so we'll take you along. Thank you. Outfit of the day. They're yours, mom. Right. <laughs> She's like, where did you get your shoes? I'm like, you gave them to me. <laughs> forgot. <laughs> I back from Humble's birthday bash and then 505 Central where I clearly did not eat because I can't really eat any of that food. I mean, technically I can, but didn't have a scale, 
so I couldn't really measure anything out. And, you know, just didn't want to eat out. So instead, we are back home, Milo, making pancakes, protein pancakes, of course, with some organic Smucker's peanut butter on top to hit my macros for the day. And then I'll be good and probably just call it a night and watch clickbait on Netflix because that show is really good and I highly recommend it. The next day. Good morning, happy Sunday. I just got to the park because I felt like going for a walk first thing. First, I got a grande cold brew in a venti cup and here's the hack. You pour one of these kind of like protein shakes in it, mix it together, and you have 20 grams of protein and like zero calories. So you got a nice protein coffee to start the day. Okay, yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Highly recommend if you wanna get protein in first thing in the morning but don't really wanna eat, do this. 10 out of 10. literally like the perfect morning today i don't know if you can tell from my videos but there's like a nice breeze going through it's cool it's got to be like mid 60s it's just perfect this is why i love doing this first thing in the morning you're getting that vitamin d you're getting your steps in it's just like a great way to clear your mind too it's just the perfect combination and you got your coffee apologize I've totally been MIA today and I'm honestly just really freaking tired because I barely slept last night so anyways I've just been running errands um, and then I was stopped by my parents place but now I'm gonna make dinner and this is what I was telling you guys about earlier in the video the lavish bread so I'm gonna make like a healthy pizza with some chicken on top. Okay, my pizza is assembled. I ended up using a little bit of part skin mozzarella shredded cheese and put 66 grams of chicken on top. So we're gonna pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for six to eight minutes and I'll show you the final result. Hopefully this is amazing because I honestly haven't had pizza in I don't even know how long, maybe. meal of the day and you probably guessed it we're making protein pancakes I'm mixing it up this time though because I'm just using Trader Joe's protein mix and frozen raspberries and then this Walden Farms blueberry syrup which is literally amazing because it's zero calories zero fat zero carb and zero protein so it's perfect and that's gonna end the night and that's gonna end the vlog. So thanks for watching my weekend. I know today was kind of lame, so thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.